<laughs> hey Zoo family, welcome to today's video. Very mod. <laughs> Very modless. What is it now? Very Mary Vlogmas. Hey Zoo family, welcome to today's video. Very modless. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Will you, I broke you. Will you ever be able to say it right again? We broke mom. Thanks, Dad. That's what 22 days of vlogmas do to a person. This might one of the bloopers. Vlogmas. Very. Merry vlogmas. One, two, three, go. Hey, Zoo family, welcome to today's video. Very moglet. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. She's straight up, her brain is broke. Her brain is broke. How are you doing? I'm afraid I'll do it too. Hey Zoo family, welcome to today's video. Merry Vlogmas. Merry Vlogmas! <laughs> I, I'm afraid I broke mommy because she heard me say the words very modless and now she can't say Merry Vlogmas right anymore. <laughs> Which is just, that's what Vlogmas does. It breaks your brain. When you go 20 something days straight of vlogging. 25 I, days? Uh, yeah, today's only day 26. 22 I think, right? Yeah, but it'll be 26 by the time we're actually done. We may not even be able to put any sentences together by that time. Much respect to the vloggers who do daily vlogs and they go way longer than this. They do years. I think the, I think the record is like 10 years. Yeah. Something like over a decade of vlogging. I forget who holds that, but it's kind of nuts. Uh, we are happy to be with you today though. We are doing another cookie taste test challenge. Mom is baking in the kitchen with the kids. You all love when we do this. So we have three recipes. We let the kids each choose which type they wanted to make. Katie wants to make the jam cookie. Yep. Timmy wants to make the chocolate cookie. Yep. Caleb and Logan want to work on the snickerdoodle. And yeah. here we go. Say very merry vlogmas. No. Say merry vlogmas. Merry vlogmas. <laughs> Can't be that mess up. No, I'm Mary, not kidding. I'm not messing around. Mary Vlogmas. Mary, Mary. <laughs> Mary Vlogmas. Mary Vlogmas. Mary Vlogmas. You got it. Oh, oh now say God. very Mary Vlogmas. No. Very Mary Vlogmas yeah, from the Chandler family. More. <laughs> so Katie wanted to help with the jam cookie. Okay. The jam cookie has to be first because why? an hour in the refrigerator. It has to solidify for an hour, yeah. right? Yeah. So we gotta get that going. Katie wanted to help with jam, so Wait, here we go. Butter? butter. She put both her sticks of butter in there. Now we're gonna add the sugar. There you go. Okay, no pressure, but she's gonna crack an egg perfectly with, with no shell. She's gonna try, here we go. Oh, she's gonna do it one-handed like Daddy does. Oh! oh! Good job. Yeah, girl, no shell, bump it. Yeah. yeah, that's how daddy does. I always do it with one hand really fast and the kids are like, how do you do that? Okay, that was awesome. Okay, go for it. A heaping teaspoon of orange peel. Heaping teaspoon of orange peel, go for it. Oh, that smells so good. The aromatics on that are amazing. I mean, kind of looks like um, banana. Oh, banana pudding, huh? She doesn't Ooh, like bananas, so. Oh, I love banana pudding. It's one of Daddy's favorite desserts. Okay, last step for Katie. It's time to add that flour. We already time. we already put our salt in our flour. Yep. A little bit at a time. Classic Keep refrigerate, going. Refrigerate, not freezer. Oh yeah, last I accidentally it, yeah, refrigerated the. The um, what did I refrigerate last? Or no, I was, froze yeah, the gingerbread ginger last bread. time. My bad. Yeah, it was like a brick. We had to let it, get to room temperature. yeah, get back to room temperature. A little bit more, here. You can always dump, pull it back, loosen it up, yeah. and then go. There you go. Good job. Okay. I should preface by saying that all of these recipes are gluten-free. All I did was add gluten-free flour instead of all-purpose flour. Caleb and Logan flying in to save the day with their snickerdoodle cookies. Are you ready to bake? Let's do some bacon. Caleb's gonna get the butter in. Okay, Logan's gonna add our sugar. A little bit at a time. Let's add a little bit at a time. Go on. Ready? Add a little bit, a little bit. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Okay, a little bit more, Logers. A little bit more. Okay, here we go. We are getting to the point that it's nice and mixed. What comes next, mama? He's gonna crack an egg. Oh, he's gonna crack an egg. No pressure, but your sissy over here. She cracked it with one hand and no no shells. So go for it, go for it. We're watching, we believe in you. Oh! 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 You, wow, wow! The egg queen! I love my egg queen! Bye -bye. And the egg king! I'm gonna overthrow 
throw him. I'll do it even faster. The egg jester. <laughs> egg in. Go ahead, you can probably add that vanilla. We're probably fine. Let's get it all in there. Good, very good. Great, great dumping skills. Okay, Caleb's gonna dump our flour in a little bit at a time. Now a little bit more. Okay, now the rest. Dump it in, good job. Excellent job. Now we're gonna let that mix up and we have our dough. So this recipe is a little bit different. This has many steps and uh, a lot more eggs and a double boiler. <laughs> yeah, daddy already double boiled some butter and chocolate back here. He's yep. cracking eggs. Those are what go in here instead of the butter. And then we already have the cocoa and the flour and all these dry ingredients yes. here. Brown sugar's over here. So Timmy's gonna work on cracking. Oh, am I being too loud for the egg? Am I being too loud for the egg? It's about to hatch. It's about <laughs> I love still having a six-year-old in the house. Oh! oh good job. No, no shell. No shell? Wait, wait, oh, one little shell. Oh, a little bit of shell. I think that came out of his... Okay, mixer. so we're gonna crack a couple more eggs and then mix some stuff together. All eggs three. go into the mixer first. All three. Very good. So this recipe says we need to whip our eggs a little bit. And then we're going to add brown sugar to our eggs. Timmy, go ahead and add that brown yeah, sugar. Brown sugar? Don't know. Just dump it in. Don't smell it. I love brown sugar. Okay, that's gonna mix a little bit. This has vanilla and peppermint extract Ooh. in it. Ooh, is that going next? Yep. Okay, now very carefully, let's add that. And make sure it all gets in there. We might want to. Very good. It was an eighth of a teaspoon of peppermint Only extract. an eighth, and yes. it was that strong. Okay, so now comes Daddy's melted chocolate and butter. We just makeshifted a double boiler with this metal bowl and a, uh, a metal pan back there and we have butter and chocolate going in. This is a 100% cocoa. Super bitter. So very bitter. The sweet taste is gonna come from our brown sugar. Yeah. Ready to mix? Here mm -hmm. we go. We're mixing in our chocolate. Smell it. Does it smell chocolatey? Yeah. Sure does smell chocolatey, it doesn't it? No, like, uh, what is it called? Uh, brownies, maybe? Yeah, yeah brownies. It smells like brownies a little bit. And a little minty. A little minty. Last but not least, we're folding in our flour mixture. Remember, that has our cocoa and all of our dry ingredients in it. You'll see in the description, in the link of the description, mm. you'll see the recipe and how you have to do this. Yeah. Yeah, a little more, here we go. It's a party of chocolate. A party of chocolate. <laughs> in the last little bit, there it goes. Now once that's mixed, we'll have our cookie dough. Everything's done. Look at these cookies, kids. Wow, your mom has become quite the baker. I tell you, I tell you. No, it did not. When I met you, you were not a baker. This is amazing. You have grown into an amazing cook. She's like, can we just, can we just try them already? Okay, what do we want to try first, mom? It's your, uh, it's mom's pick. What do you want to try first, mama? Snickerdoodle. Do you see her doing this? Snickerdoodle. Okay, everyone, take a snickerdoodle. One, two, three. Wow. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> mm. Crunch in the middle, Soft in the middle, crunch on the outside. Mm. Oh! Snickerdoodles are my favorite cookie, I think. Really? Mm -hmm. Let's go and rate them. Start with Timmy. Five. Caleb, five. Logan? Five. Katie, five. Katie? Five. Daisy? <laughs> Daisy? <laughs> what do you say, Daisy? <laughs> Mom, mm -hmm. and I give it a five. Yeah. Mm, oh, five, all the way around. And gluten free too. Kids, these are gluten free. There's no reduction in taste because it's gluten free. Mm -hmm. So good. Mom, which one's next? Probably chocolate. Chocolate? Okay, grab yourself a chocolate and peppermint very, cookie. Very One, two, three. Very soft. What? Like a brownie. I was about to say that. Like a minty brownie. It, mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, the the smooth. Wow, it's a very soft cookie. I like it better than a brownie. So it's dark chocolate, cocoa powder, you're tasting peppermint and vanilla and sugar. Let's rate them, Timmy? Uh, none. You don't like it? Okay. Timmy's, oh, wait, you're back to the snickerdoodle? <laughs> Caleb, what do you rate it? Snickerdoodle was best, I'm gonna go with four and a half. Four and a half, Katie? Four and a half. Logan? Five? I'm gonna go five. Five, I'm gonna give it a four and a half too because I do like the Snickerdoodle a little bit better. But it is really good, man. It's incredible. This does not taste too gluten free. It's better than most brownies. Mmm. Last but not least, we have our jelly cookies. I'm gonna hit them all. 
One, two, three. Mm. <laughs> Hard, softer, Wow. Soft. Mm. Wow, let's go ahead and rate it. Timmy, what do you say? Uh, five. Five? I'll give it a four and a half. Four and a half? It's so good that it's 4.9. 4.9? Katie, five, mom? Five. And I give it a five. That is so, so, I love the combination. so, you're right. The, the flavor profile is mm -hmm. so great. Raspberry jelly with the orange zest, bonkers oh God, good. So great. And these aren't all the cookies we have. Mom made plenty, so I did. these will be around through Christmas. So the recipes are always down in the description, but I'll let you know, based on taste, um, the adding the extra orange zest made it perfect. And mom did heaping teaspoons. I if did. you're not familiar with a heaping teaspoon, it means don't be exact, give it extra, yep. you know, put, put extra in there. And also we were thinking the next time we make this on the chocolate cookies, we will add more peppermint mm -hmm. extract. We'll probably double it from one eighth to one, one quarter, quarter of a teaspoon yeah. of peppermint extract just to, to give it a little bit of punch because it kind of gets hidden behind the chocolate. These are all preference. We really recommend you try these recipes. They're that good. We hope that you enjoyed baking with mom as much as the kids enjoyed baking with mom. Daisy's going in for seconds and thirds and whatever we'll let her have. We love you, Zoo family. Merry Vlogmas, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!